If you or anyone you know has been to public school in the last five years, then you're probably familiar with these dinky Chromebooks that they hand out at these schools. I've learned of their worth about $90, but the problem is, is you can get a pretty decent MacBook for around the same price. But here's where things get interesting. Most of these $90 Chromebook specs make a 12-year-old computer feel like the pinnacle of te modern technology. So we're gonna find out which one's better value. We have a MacBook from 2012 that's about the same worth as this, and we're gonna be finding out which is a better value, and if your public schools are slacking off or not. Let's get into it. So now we can hopefully begin the install process, and that begins with hitting the option key on boot up. Creating the installer was actually pretty simple. Basically you install a extension to Chrome and it guides you through the process of creating a flash drive for it. Unfortunately the supported list of model of MacBook models and iMacs that are supported by Chrome OS are pretty slim. You can install it on most MacBooks and iMacs, but the list of certified ones that are guaranteed to be working are pretty slim. Luckily, my MacBook is on that list. So this is the mid-2012 MacBook Pro 15-inch. Here we are in the installer. It looks pretty nice, pretty nice UI. It actually booted up incredibly quickly, which is actually really interesting. So we, like most Linux distros, we have the option to try Chrome OS and do a live uh, boot, or we can just install it here. We will be installing it here because I want to get the full experience after the USB. Time to press install on this terrible, terrible decision. Now while that's installing, let's take a look at our uh, rather cheap Chromebook. So looking at the Chromebook itself, um, its fit and finish isn't terrible. I kind of like the nice uh, finish on the top. I don't really know what you'd call it. This is a Dell machine, so that's who manufactured this piece of garbage. But let's boot it up and see how it works. And looking at ports, we do have some interesting. So we have one USB 2 port, a USB-C port, an HDMI port, and a headphone jack. Which isn't necessarily great, but, but if you look at the port selection of most modern laptops, it definitely competes. The uh, USB-C is actually a charger as well, so... Oh, so it can be charged by the USB-C. That's useful. Glad Apple has finally made the switch to USB-C fully and makes it just easier for everyone. Oh, and our installation on the MacBook is complete. We are gonna look for some specifications real quick. So it looks like this display is running at 1366 by 768, which for $90 isn't terrible, but it's definitely not amazing. Our MacBook is slightly higher, I think, at uh, 1400 by 800 or something similar. On our Chromebook, we have about 32 gigs, which definitely pales in comparison to our MacBook, which has a nice 500 gigs. Not to mention the Mac is easily upgradable, partly because of how old it is. MacBooks used to be fairly easy to upgrade. Looks like we are running an Intel Celeron N4500 at 1.1 gigahertz uh, with a turbo boost of 2.8. So it does not sound like it's the fastest in the world for sure. It's not even an i3. So, um, but I'm, I'm interested to see how well it performs against this one because this is running, I think it's a second or third gen i7. Comparing that against a modern Celeron might actually be an interesting test. We'll have to look at that a little later. Looks like we are running four gigs of RAM um, compared to our MacBooks 8. Um, however, this is probably DDR4 and this is probably and this is DDR3, I think. So there may be some speed comparison. We can't test it apples to apples at the moment, but hopefully we'll be able to test it a little in a little bit. What an ingenious pun. With that said, and while looking at our beautiful background, let's boot up the MacBook. So it lovingly decided to turn off for me and not turn back on, so we are gonna turn it on now. You can tell it's old. It's like, no, let me sleep. Right. Here it is. It does identify under Windows, which is actually pretty interesting. I don't know what EFI boot does. I'm not gonna try it. We are gonna do Windows. So let's see how fast this boots. So we started booting now. I'm just gonna count it. One, two, three, four. Four seconds. That's, pr that's actually really good. 
Let's see how fast this boots. I want to see, door so hitting the power button, wants to see the Chrome OS logo, I will start counting. The screen reader on Chrome No, OS shut up. Box is primarily used I don't by care. With blindness. Four seconds as well. Okay, that's a good start. They're definitely competing. All Keyboard right. flex is basically non-existent, which I guess is one of the selling points of having a smaller computer, not as much room to flex. Of course, the MacBook doesn't flex at all either, um, but there's barely any flex, and I've seen some laptops with some flex. That's pretty good right there. Another big thing, uh, they're saying people will literally grab them by their screens and pull them away from other people, and they'll tug on them to the point, there's a point of like, it's like a tugging match with them, because. I worked with a MacBook once, and I think that probably had happened at some point to that, because the hinge was not nearly as sturdy as this MacBook. It was like like a, a not insignificant difference. It was actually really interesting. Anyway, without further ado, let's guide it through the setup. So this is the uh, main setup with these creepy people. Apparently, I can pause the animation for whatever reason. Let's hit get started. Okay, we we connect to my network. Obviously, I'm not going to show you guys this. I could though. Hey, get subscribed. Maybe I will. All right, getting the device ready. Hopefully this doesn't take too long. I doubt that it will, considering if you take into, oh, yep, yeah, there we go. So we have um, a couple options for personal use for a child and for work at school. This is good that it's, that it's asking us right at the beginning because one of the selling points of having a Chromebook is that they're really easy to manage by the schools. And obviously I can see this in play in the setup where it's already asking me if it's for work or school. We're gonna hit personal use because that is what we're doing. Use your Google account. And here we get another terrible animation that I can still pause. Oh, but it's not letting me now. We're just gonna hit get started and now I've apparently killed this. It was frozen. Great. <laughs> Wonderful. At least, oh, no, the mask cursor isn't working either. So obviously there are some bugs that Google needs to uh, work out, but um, the experience was, this is why you don't hit pause. Oh, and we're in, surprisingly. We are right in, uh, it's already installed my extensions on Chrome, and we're actually in. That's pretty cool that it did that. Uh, yeah, the process was actually pretty smooth. So let's begin the comparison between these two computers. So I want to first this, this go on here and see if I can go to Geekbench. I wonder if it will allow that on here. So apparently Chrome OS Flex does not support the Play Store at this time. So you will be a little limited in terms of apps. Of course, if you're buying a MacBook for school, uh, you probably won't need that many apps anyway. And that's one of the points of Chrome OS is to be able to just use the web. So we are gonna do some web testing. So let's get YouTube running here on both of our devices. So the speakers on the MacBook, pretty decent. Not the best I've ever heard, um, but they're pretty good. And uh, this will vary on how good these speakers are, whether you're getting the 13 or 15 inch or 17 inch models of a MacBook. The 13 inch has speakers built into the fan holes here, and it's not as good as a, an experience as this, although they're very close. So obviously no drop frames, wouldn't expect it, it's a 480p video. We will try with another video in just a second. Well, let's try the speakers on the Chromebook. At max volume. The MacBook is definitely louder. So again, that's this two on both. The speakers definitely live up to the $90 cost of this Chromebook. They're not good. And they even sound a bit muffled. They sound a lot clearer. It's almost like the speakers are also in the fan somewhere. I think they are, because I don't see any speaker grills on the, the, the main frame of the device. They're definitely not as good. And obviously the bezels, man, the bezels are ugly. On here, it's like actually like glossy and kind of cool looking. Anyway, we could try with an actual video now. And of course we'll try the man and also his Chromebook video because yeah, we'll do short circuit. So you like gaming, but you don't like it that much, which is why 
So it cannot play 4K very well. It's not doing terribly, but it cannot provide a steady experience. So let's try 1440p next. Definitely getting a couple of dropped flames frames on the 1440p option, but it's definitely a smooth experience. And it has dropped one frame, four out of 665. Not bad. 1440p, it's pretty good. I wonder if we'll get a similar experience if we go to 1080. Wow. Basically none are being dropped at 1080p. That's incredibly good. That's really, really good. Obviously it can't render the full 1080p because it, the monitor doesn't support that, but it is trying to scale it down and it is not dropping any frames. I call that a win. Now let's try on the MacBook. So you like gaming, but you don't like it that Is it? Much. So we are running at a slightly higher resolution. So obviously this isn't apples to apples. Ha <laughs> ha, get it. So we dropped a very small amount, a very small amount. However, we are rendering at a slightly higher resolution. So genuinely, I think their processor speed is actually close to the exact same. Either that, or we don't have the proper drivers installed for our graphics card on the MacBook, which is also a plausible explanation. All right, so now we're gonna stress test it. So as most of you know, Chrome is quite a ram hog. So we are gonna test it by running a lot of streams of YouTube all at once and we'll see how many we can get before it completely breaks. I think the answer is three. It can play three at once and not freeze. Now let's try it on this. How many YouTube streams can we play on this computer? So we're gonna do the same test where we run this and we'll mute it. Actually, it's freezing more streams than the MacBook is. I think the MacBook wins this part. So now we'll do a speed test. So we're both on my network and we'll see which test is the fastest. So here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna open the, both of them. We're gonna go to speedtest.net. Chrome OS does have a lot of bugs on even its supported devices, which is a little bit concerning to my, to my eye. You're getting six, nearly 600 megs a second. That, that's pretty good. 498 is what we got for download and looks like we're getting about 23, 24-ish on upload. We are only getting 270 down on the MacBook. So I think the uh, the internet adapter does win on the Chromebook, which is very interesting. And of course, it could also be a driver error. There's obviously a lot of work that needs to be done on Chrome OS Flex. So in summary, if you're looking for a laptop for school, I honestly didn't want to recommend this, but I might just recommend these Chromebooks. Now, if Google does take the proper work that needs to be done and get some proper drivers and fixes some of the bugs on Chrome OS Flex, I could definitely recommend that. But in its current state, which I will remind you is a, a couple months old by this point, it's just not usable. So. Yeah, if you if you want, if you're looking for an alternative for your school, I just get these unless Google fixes some of those issues. And please give me the Google Play Store. I want to be able to download Android apps just like I can on a normal Chromebook. Well, that's it. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you liked this video, then by all means, smash that like button. And uh, if you want to subscribe, subscribe. We got a lot of great content coming out. And uh, so make sure you hit the notification bell so you'll be notified of that. Anyways, guess thank what, you guys. Guess what, I get to host the next one. I'm so excited. Anyway, continue with your intro. So thank you guys all for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Peace. Hello everyone, and welcome to Narwhal Tech. Today we're gonna to be talking about how a Chromebook can actually be better than a MacBook, or vice versa. Will the Chromebook here on the right disappoint the you at home wanting to see it crush the MacBook with absolutely no opposition? Let's find out. Is my hair a mess? I won't know, because I don't have a mirror and I took a shower like five minutes before I came here. It better be beautiful.